Hello, in this video, I will grade this traveling photo. I will set colors and contrast here to my taste. I will use Channel Mixer to work with color. I'm going to make blue colors closer to turquoise. I will move all points to the center to decrease color saturation. I'll adjust the contrast on the Curves tab. Most often, the contrast increases using an S-shaped curve. But this time, I'm going to do something different. I will make a double bending curve and compress the dynamic range in highlights even more. To begin with, I will raise the black point up and move the white point down. I will bend the curve up at the center of the histogram. Then the curve will straighten and finish up with a slight bend. This way, I will save the contrast in the highlights. I'm going to make the shadows darker. The result is such a curve that resembles a bow in shape. Now I'm going to adjust the color using RGB curves. I will set the inflection point of the curves at the intersection with the master curve. That is, my highlights will be different in color as opposed to midtones and shadows. I will lower the green channel curve in the highlights a little. Here's the result. What else can be done here? I will raise the saturations in midtones, like this. Red color began to stand out even more. It is located here on the saturation luminance curve, so I can reduce its saturation. I'm going to make red shades darker on AB grid. Let's see where the yellow color is. It doesn't fall between my color rays, so I can slightly reduce the red in saturation without affecting other warm shades. Here's what happened. Let's compare with what it was before. There were washed out highlights in some places, but due to the compression of the dynamic range in the highlights, they did not stand out at all. I really like the result. It begins to look like some kind of teal and orange film grade. That's all. I hope this video was useful. Bye everyone.